Hi there! Oracle Golden Gate Stream Analytics, or GGSA, is now generally available as a native service as part of the OCI Golden Gate deployment types. You are now able to use the same intuitive, no-code user experience that you're used to from Oracle Stream Analytics as part of a fully managed cloud service. Your environment will auto-scale based on your needs and bill as you go just based on what you use. Infrastructure, upgrades, lifecycle, patching, and backups will all be managed transparently by our service. OCI GGSA is an interactive self-service interface to create low-code ETL and analytics pipelines. You can do time series analytics through our patterns to decide trends, outliers, and other relevant occurrences in your data. You can visualize your data in real-time dashboards, both in the tool as well as outside using Oracle Analytics Cloud or third-party environments such as Grafana. We provide rich library of patterns to do rule-based decisions, and you can interactively define geospatial analysis such as geofences to detect location or proximity of objects on a map. Finally, a central point is the ability to perform predictive analytics on basis of machine learning models, such as PMML, Onyx, or our own OML Oracle Machine Learning in Autonomous Databases. Creating your first working pipeline in OCI GGSA is incredibly simple, as you will see in the next few minutes. All you need to get started is an OCI tenancy with permission to use OCI Golden Gate, which is automatic if you have administrator privileges. You need a VCN with public and private subnets, which will be automatically there when you create it with the VCN wizard. And you need to open up Ingress on port 443 for both subnets so you can use our web UI. You also need to create a basic OCI vault and key. This can be done in the identity and security section of the OCI console with all default settings. We start in the OCI console logged into our tenancy. We first open Golden Gate in the Oracle database menu. This opens the homepage of OCI Golden Gate service. The first thing we do is create the deployment, an environment where we can create real-time pipelines. We give the deployment a name, choose between typical production or development settings, and a good start to experiment is a one OCPU with auto-scaling deployment. Auto-scaling means that it can scale up to three times its initial size, like in autonomous database. We pick the license type, which is usually license included if you subscribe to the service. In advanced options, you can enable console public access, so you can use your local web browser. We choose the stream analytics deployment type, and we name the instance and then pick an administrator name, typically OGG admin. The password of the admin is stored in a vault, and you need to create a vault and key ahead of time. We are creating a secret, giving it a name. Vault and key are auto-selected if they are the only ones in this compartment, otherwise choose them. Last thing, enter the password you want to store in the secret. Now you have everything, create the deployment. Creating the deployment takes a few minutes, we have skipped this here. We now have a working stream analytics deployment and can go ahead and open the console. We enter the admin name and the same password we put into the secret. The welcome page of stream analytics shows us a selection of typical use cases. You can pick an example to import, and we are choosing transportation and logistics. This imports a complete example application to our deployment. In the catalog, you can see our application objects. The central one is a pipeline called asset tracking. Let's open this. This pipeline shows tracking of buses in the region and monitoring of speed. A file input simulates IoT events with location data for vehicles. The moment you open a pipeline, it is immediately deployed in draft mode and starts processing events. On the left-hand side of the pipeline graph, you see the event input stage with time, location, speed, and information about the bus. You see the data coming in on the bottom. The second stage will filter the vehicles through a geofence to make sure they are within the four areas this app is monitoring. The next stage filtered all stop buses with speed zero. After this, we calculate average speed by aggregating over a sliding one minute window. A rule stage categorizes the average speed to different levels of violation. 
After this, we enrich the driver information by querying a database and adding details such as driver name. Finally, we calculate violation metrics such as distribution on highways and age of drivers and violation count. This is a quick overview how you can create a simple example in a few minutes. You can extend it by creating connections and adding your own sources or targets to write to database or topics in OCI Streamings or Kafka. OCI Golden Gate Stream Analytics is a powerful service to process and analyze your real-time data in your enterprise while still being easy to set up and use.